I think that everything happens for a reason. Everything, even down to the most minimal thing. I don't mean to overanalyze everything, but I do think that things that happen to us from a car accident to a health issue happens for a reason. And if we looked at those reasons and caught those clues, we can figure out a lot of things. So the first obvious question is what brings you to therapy? <laughs> We're here mostly to learn how to kind of communicate better with each other. Mm -hmm. We argue a lot. Let me ask you about one of the very important areas in a relationship. How's the sex? What are you laughing about? <laughs> it's great. When you guys argue, do the arguments ever reach a resolution? No. So Never. what happens? Never. We just hold on to resentment. Like, I was just making a statement. You don't even know what I'm going to say. And then you just say, well, then let's just break it. What she just was starting to say upset you. Because the only thing she sees is a negative. Mm -hmm. She you won't speak. let me speak. There you go. Let her finish. Let her you finish. You never let me speak. How? What? Huh? Have fun. Why are you leaving? Why are you in it? We shouldn't judge someone's professional ability based on their personal life. You know, the reason why psychology works the way it's set up is because if I don't have an emotional involvement with you, I am better able to see what's going on consciously and unconsciously in your life. <laughs> well, what do you think? Well, I think that um, I was living in a place of, of real uh, negativity, and I think that I was allowing myself to be in, in, a, in a chaotic state. Well, I like that you say allowing myself yeah. to live, so now you have the control. You're not a victim of your environment nope. and I don't a victim feel that of, way at all. Yeah. It's important to be true to yourself. And if working makes you feel like a whole person, then it's important to do that because if you don't, your resentment or your unhappiness will spill through. And guilt, everybody has guilt. I have guilt. I have a daughter and I go to work and sometimes I can't spend a lot of time with her. And you know what guilt is? Guilt is self-punishment for feeling like you're doing something wrong. What makes you feel bad about yourself? My mother did. You know, like, I cannot change her. If you can't change her, you can change your perspective about her, and you can change what you need from her versus what you want from her. Mm -hmm. And that's what you can change. And you can change what you take personally and what you don't anymore. Kobe Bryant's lawyers are fighting to have at his accuser. They subpoenaed records from a rape crisis center. Both facilities are fighting to keep their records private. And confidentiality is very, very special. Dr. Shirley Impelizari is a psychologist who has counseled many rape victims and says those records, especially those connected to a sexual assault case, should remain sealed. For a lot of patients, it's a violation because they, they expect confidentiality. They're told that it's going to be confidential. They pour their hearts out. And then the possibility is there that it may be out for the public to hear. I'm not sure why society is so judgmental. I think it's because we don't realize how much we're bombarded from the time that we're born into this world on the way things should be. Like, we look at billboards and it's always male, female. We look at magazine covers. Well, I think times are changing now and shows like Will and Grace and stuff which are showing a different way of being. But we're so bombarded with the way things should be that it almost becomes almost innate to think that way. And so the people that continue to think that way tend to unfortunately judge the others that break out of that box. So the healing is definitely in progress. It is in progress. Yes, it is. I'm getting happier with myself. Good. You know, because it's all about increasing the quality of your life. Yeah. Now it's, you have the insight. Now let's do something to make it so you can rise above it. Well, I often tell people to be a good person because that should be the goal that people strive for. As primitive as it sounds, it is much harder to do than it actually sounds. And it's kind of how I do therapy. I break an issue into its most simplest form and then we can build on it. And what does be a good person mean? It means try not to judge. It means treat it as like you'd like to be treated. It, it, there's a lot of things that it means. And how many times are you driving down the street and somebody cuts you off and you have a four letter word to throw that way? Well, that's energy that you're putting out there. And it's hard not to. It's hard not to walk down the street and see something and, and maybe feel judgmental about it. 
So it's a lot more difficult than it seems. And if that's your goal, then every day you can work towards striving to reach your goal, which I do in my life every day.